It is a frosty Monday morning. 20 degrees. The roads seem pretty clear. I'm just about home. Trying to think about what I'm going to do today. now coming back into the city limits so I'll talk to you when I get home so there are a few things that I want to document and one of those being getting on and off the bike because eventually it will become a lot easier and I won't be so um, cumbersome while I'm trying to get on this thing so yesterday I did not get on the bike I didn't exercise at all really except for just being up and prepping but um, my knees were really hurting by mid-afternoon and they normally don't do that so I'm gonna say it's because I didn't get on the bike but we'll see. All righty. Like I said, I'm not going to bore you with uh, being on the bike, but I am going to document things that I can go back and look at on my journey and see what has changed, what has become easier, uh, what I can do different. So we'll see you. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna take that tub in today some dirt today. Oh, it's kind of a strange Tuesday. Yesterday I twisted my knee uh, going into the house, didn't do anything different than I normally do, but somehow I didn't twist my hips, <laughs> and I just twisted my knee, and it caused it to really hurt. So I had a hard time getting out to the car this morning, had to use my cane, but 
the position of the riding in the car for an hour um, ten seemed to loosen it up or something. So I decided that if I could get up on the step and if I could get up on the bike, I would go ahead and do it. So happy Tuesday, everybody. Here I go. Now I'm not going to be in a, any hurry today. So I'll let you know how long I go today. Hi, boys. about this bike is because I can't put a lot of pressure down on this knee, uh, I can do most of the work with the handlebars here. So that's why when you see my feet off, I'm working my arms because my legs aren't helping at all to make it go. And then the same way, when I take my hands off, it makes my legs work harder because it's just them working. I think that actually made it feel better. Have a good day, boys. Eat up. Stay warm. It's going to snow. Hey, everybody. So I wanted to take you along with showing you how that I can make a meal out of my schedule for my food eating. So I'm gonna make up something for dinner tonight. And dinner is, says I get to do a one and a four. So I'm gonna look down on four. Four is just all your vegetables. <clears throat> Green beans, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, cauliflower, broccoli, <clears throat> excuse me, all that kind of things, onion. Mushrooms, cabbage, celery, um, your leaf lettuces, uh, more cabbage, your colored peppers, things like that. Okay, so I'm going to have a salad tonight as well as I'm going to go ahead and make some hamburger stew. So I have um, some lean beef in the refrigerator. So it says that I can have four ounces, which like I said, it's about the size of your palm. So, you know, about a cup full of soup with meat in it and then I can fill the rest of my soup up with vegetables. So that's what I'm going to get ready to do and it'll be all done for this evening. Okay so I have some uh, canned carrots, some uh, homegrown green beans and some um, uh, celery. Smell them. Smells good. Dark green beans is what are dark greens is what my trainer told me would be the best for me. So any kind of dark green like uh, broccoli is dark. What else is dark, you guys? And as you can see, I'm just using all the juices that are in there. I'm just putting them in. Now there really is no cooking to this because the vegetables are done because they were canned. And then I had some leftover hamburger. I'm just gonna set that on top until <laughs> until it unthaws enough to drop out. Actually, I'm gonna take the hamburger over to the sink, <laughs> put some hot water on the bottom, and dump it into the pan. <laughs> it's pretty lean. It just has a little bit layer of, of fat, which is going to make the soup really good. Now you wonder why we're cooking it now if we're going to have it for supper. 
Well, I am gonna, you know, let it simmer on low for quite a little while so that all those things can incorporate together to get a really nice flavor. If you guys go back on um, one of the previous videos where I have my schedule listed, it's really not hard to follow. And one thing you'll notice, it does not have pasta or bread. And for people with fibromyalgia, that is essential <laughs> because it really will help you to cut out the pain and the swelling. When I was on my diet for a really good, good long time, I got off all of my pain medicine for three years. And then I started introducing pasta and bread and all that white stuff again, and potatoes and rice, and it just messed me up again. So one good thing about this schedule is he ad addressed my fibromyalgia as well. I loved my trainer. Mmm, it's starting to smell really, really good. So it's been on simmer for about an hour now. And I think I will add some more juice to it. So I'm going to see if I got some broth in the freezer. And if I don't, then I'm just going to put some tomato juice in it. Okay, I remember sitting this in the refrigerator um, or in the freezer. Uh, I don't know. Four or five months ago and it's a beef beef broth so I'm gonna let it in thaw a little bit and then I'm gonna add it to the soup I'm gonna turn this all the way down low and there's the broth okay man that is smelling so good I can't wait it's been about an hour more that's looking really really good I have decided that once we're done and finished with supper tonight, I'm going to take the leftovers and I'm going to make a hamburger pot pie out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get it in the pan without the biscuits or the crust or anything and uh, get it put in the freezer. And so when we want a quick meal, I can get that out and I can do half of it with biscuits for John and then I can just eat the other half. Okay, well you guys have a great, great day and I'll see you again. Go out and enjoy life.